Hi, I'm Roxana from VP State, and in this video, I will show how to manage team notifications in the VP Rentals team. The team will send notifications via email or SMS, depending on the settings that you make. The notifications will be sent to the site administrator, to the owner, and to the guest. First, I will explain how to manage the notifications that will be sent via email. You will find settings in team options, email management. Here you will have three sections, email content, email settings and trip details email. I will start with email content. Here you will see a list with notifications. You will have the option to change the text and the subject of each notification. In this list, you will find almost all notifications sent. If you have any notification that you do not want to send, you just need to remove the notification subject and that notification will not be sent. For the notifications content, you will have global variables that can be used in any notification. You can copy them from here and below each notification, you will find variables that can be used only in that notification. For example, user login register can be used only in the new user notification. You have a long list which you will need to review and make the changes that you need. Also, if your site will be in another language, here you will be able to replace the demo English words with new ones in your language. Going to the emails settings, here you have the option to change email settings. You can choose to send emails as HTML or as text. When you use text in email content, you will be able to add settings for the email formatting by selecting text and by using the HTML code here. Going back to email settings, to explain better the available options for the emails, I have here an example of an email. It is the one for new users. It is the first notification from the list. You can see that it was sent in HTML format. And next, I will explain the existing options based on this email. First, the no reply is the one that you can see here that can be changed to reflect your name. The email address will be the sender one. Next, you will have the option to display email header. The email header will include this logo. You can disable that section if set to no. Here you can upload your own logo that will show in all emails. Next, you will have the option to display email footer, which is the section here. Also, you have the option to show address in email footer and display a text that you can add here. The address and the text can be seen here. This is the address and this is the text from team options. Next, you have the option to add social links in your emails. You will need to upload the icon and add the social link. I have added Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. You can see them here. And the last options in this section are to set the email background color, which will be this one, and the email content background color, which will be the one here. Going back to team options, the last option in this section will be trip details email. The trip details email will be sent to the guest once the booking is confirmed. You can see it here it will include all details of the booking and in team options you have the option to not show owner email in the trip details email and you will have the option to stop this email from being sent. This was a quick overview of the existing options for the notifications that will be sent via email. Next, in the team you will also have an SMS management functionality, you will find it here. If this option enable SMS service will be enabled, then the notifications will also be sent as an SMS to the user phone. This service can be used with Tulio and we have a video tutorial created to show the exact steps that you need to take to make the settings for the SMS management service. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.